What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's Torque Drift Tuesday. We're bringing Torque Drift back because of all the new content and everything. Look at that VR38 DE TT. So we got a lot of new content. Pro Car, Lexus RCF, MX-5 Pocket Rocket, you know, and all these kinds of, you know, cool things. And uh, well, we're going to get into looking some of it today. We're going to try to complete the uh, big challenge that's huge when it comes to the scores. So I did pick up the RCF and well, we already started to get some parts for it. I'm trying to find out where my RCF is. There it is. We're already trying to get starting to get some parts for it. So we do have a crate to open. We're building this car up slowly. Don't know how much I'm going to drift it today because well, it's still pretty low in the power band, but we did put a body kit on it. Got a nice roll cage in there and some nice wide flares with some nice wheels. So we're gonna go take a look at that challenge that I believe is pretty difficult. I've uh, tried it a couple times, haven't even been able to get the first one. So the Ocean Drive challenge with the RCF Pro Car is definitely very difficult. 349,900 points is what I need to get with this car and I've come nowhere close. So. I'm gathering that we pretty much have to be on the walls and doing as much you know, the close call points as we can get because otherwise I, I've never been able to get enough points by any means so I, I'm probably doing something very wrong. This car is definitely crazy. Just banging forth gear. We're not close enough to any of the walls right now. We should probably have way more points right now and we just got to pretty much get every single clip and not hit the wall like that because we need a clean lead in order to get this amount of points. Definitely a super crazy amount of points to get this challenge and I have yet to complete it. So if you guys have some tips and tricks, let me know down in the comments of what you guys did to complete this challenge because other than from what I know, trying to stay as close as we can to all the walls and get all the wall rides and clean lead, I'm having a I'm having a hard time. I'm struggling on this one. This is the first one that I've uh, not been able to get right away. So, if you guys have some tips and some tricks, I'd be very curious to hear what you guys have come up with because I'm just wrecking constantly, if you can't tell, and not having a good time. We're gonna see if we can try and get this today, or at least try and maybe finish a run. With a decent amount of points, hard entry. So that was a better entry. Got a lot more points on the board on that entry. Slow it down, get close to the wall. That was a little bit shaky. Gotta keep the drift going. And we missed some clips. So this would not be the point scoring run that would definitely complete this challenge. And we keep tapping that wall. So, a very difficult challenge for me, and I don't know how many people also are having a problem with this challenge. I know some of the big players in Torque Drift, I've seen they've banged this challenge out. So if you guys are watching, let me know what you guys did, because, you know, I'm having having a bit of a hard time here. And I'm not sure if maybe you bought the car and able to tune it a little bit, or if you just need to be pretty much dragging wing on every single turn in order to get this challenge up this high. Unless maybe you guys don't have as high of a challenge that you guys have to get on your, you know, your games. Maybe mine's just a little bit higher due to level and stuff like that. Oh, I thought we were gonna lose all the points there with that wall scrape. So we are trying our best right now. This is probably our best that we've done. So far, what happened there? All my points just were not on the track. So unfortunately, that is not gonna do it either. Gonna give this maybe one more try and then we'll go take a look at that RCF and see what we can do with the RCF here for today. A lot of big things, a lot of, a lot of videos are gonna come with this update. So make sure you guys tap and do subscribe. We do appreciate all the support and always tap that like button and show me some love down in the comments if you got questions or in this aspect, if you guys have some tips and tricks for me for completing this challenge, because man, I'm struggling. As you can see, this is not a not a one and done challenge like some of the other ones that I've done. 
and this one, this one's uh, putting me through the ringer, so. Feather off the gas, that's not what I wanted to do. Ugh, all right, I know I said one more. We can do one more try. Car sounds amazing, very loud, and very, very powerful. And it's just, it looks amazing with the giant wing. And I'm so glad, you know, this car's in the game with the big wing, the RCF. The stock RCF for the body kit has the same wide body kit, but doesn't have a big wing. And I'm very, very upset about that. I don't know if that's gonna change, or if maybe that was just an oversight. This is not gonna work because we uh, lost two clips there. We need to pretty much get every single clip. So we're gonna try and finish this one off at least in a clean run to find out where we kind of stack up because I think the best I've ever gotten was like 250 something. Yep, nope, can't do it. So we're gonna stop this for to this episode and try and pick this up another time. So RCF, where it sits now, what do we got? We got the pits. We got Midway, and we got Reticle 9. We'll go to the Reticle 9. The, the RCF is not fully tuned yet. It's uh, a work in progress, and it's you know gonna be a fun car once it's fully built. And of course, we do have the GMG BRZ that I have not yet started to paint. So we're gonna search and see if we can't find a competitor here for the RCF, and it's another RCF. This one's got 930 horsepower. So we're a bit um, outpowered in this aspect for the first run here in the RCF. We'll see what we can kind of do with it. Throw more power in there. Kick it in. It's a big girl to get sliding. And once it goes, you kind of need to stay on it. Or, ooh, stuff like that could happen. Bouncing off the walls. Not the best showing of the car right now. But, you know, it is still a build in the works. I feel like once we get a new engine in here and get some more power into it, we should be good. Oh, because it's kind of sluggish with the bit of power that it has now. So we're going to try and see how he does in his with more power. And you can see right there, way more points, way more power. We're getting bested. We need more power in this thing. So if you guys want to keep seeing this build, let me know because what happened? Opponent left? Did he just... Did he quit on me? I'm confused on what happened. I don't think I hit forfeit. I thought I hit continue. Maybe I hit forfeit. By mistake. So we're going to try this one more time here. And see what we can do. We may take back to that RCF challenge. And give it another go. Because that car is a lot of fun to drive with all the power. We're skating wide. Stay down power. We're good. It's as a, this is a big car to keep sliding right now with, you know, limited power. As I say that, we come out of drift. Quick handbrake. Got to keep clutch kicking the car to, you know, stay sideways. But a respectable run nonetheless. Not as up there in 100,000s, but... Maybe a good enough run to maybe take a W here. We did get a good lead. So now let's see if we can follow it up with a better chase. Hopefully we can uh, try and grab doors with this car on that S15. Oof. The size difference is insane. And I am coming out of drift more than I should be and left foot braking didn't help there if you've noticed it was on left foot brake but kind of went in there so this car is definitely a fun car to drive but it's gonna take it's gonna take some time to get get it to where I need it to be it's a challenge I'm willing to take it's a challenge that I've am gonna try so we're gonna go back and try that RCF because I can't win with this car I need some more power in this car because of how big and heavy it is oh we took the win anyways uh, as I say that, we take the W. I mean, okay. So let me know if you guys are using the RCF and what you guys did to complete this challenge. Like I said, I'm looking for some tips. Looking to see how many times it took you. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I got it on the first try, second try. You know, I'm struggling. A lot of these other challenges that they've put out, I've been able to do one and done, and maybe two and done. But this one, I've, uh, I've been at it a few times, and I've yet 
to come even close. I've not even gotten the first crate if that goes to show anything. And I think it's because I get too close to the walls. Holy 90. I mean, I will come out of this one somehow not dead. So apparently you just need to throw, throw this card 90 degrees and you should be good. Unfortunately, we did not link that. So we don't have massive points and points additive and there's a tank smack. So we're just going to finish this run out to finish this episode off. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, which is found in the description box below. More set of course content and stuff coming tomorrow, Horizon 4. We'll be back on the channel here too. I don't know what I just did, but we're just going to loop it around and finish it off. Maybe. Nope. Game says no. So that'll do it here for this episode. My driving today, definitely horrible in these cars. Got to build that RCF up. So make sure you tune in the next episode where the RCF will be driving even better. You guys can see the progression of the car from what it was today to the next episode. So until the next episode, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.